Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to easily set a video transcoding pipeline with AWS services. We're going to use AWS Elemental Media Convert that allows us to easily create video on demand content for broadcast and multi screen delivery at scale. For this tutorial, you need an AWS account, AWS CLI, Terraform, and AWS Vault if you enable the multi factor authentication. Let's begin with getting the Terraform module from GitHub. So I'm going to clone it, but you can download from zip. OK, be sure you have the repository in your folder. Now we have the Terraform module repository in our folder, and we need to do some configuration. Change directory to AWS Workflow Video On Demand Media Convert Lambda. So you could see we have some file. We have the job JSON and the Media Convert Pi. So we got two files in there. Job JSON is the transcoding configuration file. By default, outputs are Apple HLS and MP4. And there is the Media Convert Pi, a file that you mustn't modify. So you can modify the job JSON if you want uh, other output than MP4 or Apple HLS. But now we're going to zip this content with this command. So you should have the zip file here. OK. So to use this module, we need some AWS resources. First, you need to get your Media Convert endpoint. So you, you should use the AWS Media Convert Describe endpoints. I'm using AWS Vault because I need the multi-factor authentication. So let's do it. So this is my, my Media Convert endpoint. So copy this endpoint. We need it later. Now we need to have two S3 buckets with the same AWS region than the Media Convert endpoint. So we're going to create an input and an output bucket on the Amazon S3 service. So go to the console AWS. So let's create two buckets. I'm going to call the first one VOD pipeline in. Be sure to have the same AWS region here. I created the first one, so let's create the next one. Okay, the same region. Okay, great. Uh, I'm gonna create a folder in there. I'm gonna call it input. You don't have to, to make this folder. I'm just showing that it's possible. So now we have our media convert endpoint and our two S3 buckets. We're going to set up our Terraform module. So I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. So I open my, my folder here, AWS VOD pipeline. I'm going to create the main file for Terraform to be used. So in the main Terraform file, we need to set the required version of Terraform. There, there is also the provider and its version and region. So the main Terraform is using our module. So the source refers to our repository. So the path is good. Uh, region is good because it's, it's referring to the media convert endpoint and also the S3 buckets. So US West 2 is OK. So now I need to change my input bucket name. So my, my new bucket is input pipeline in. And also for the output. Extend that, OK. So now we have the lambda zip path. That is also correct, because we created this file early. So the project base name is uh, used to put a prefix on the AWS resources that you will create with the Terraform module. So you may want to change it. So I'm going to 
I'm gonna call it video pipeline test. I'm gonna keep bucket even prefix and suffix in order to, to transcode video.mov that are put in VOD pipelines input folder. And we need to change our media convert endpoint with the the endpoint you get earlier. So it's done. Okay, so now we can use the Terraform to apply our module, create the resource and just use it. So we're gonna use Terraform init in order to initialize our model. So now we're gonna use Terraform apply in order to create our AWS resources. Okay, say yes. So as we can see, we have eight resources added. So now we can use our module and just transcode our video automatically. Let's try it. I have VOD pipeline in. I go to the input folder. And if I upload the file, I have, I need to add file. I'm taking my .mov video And I upload it. Okay, so there is some time to to let the, the lambda and media convert do the job. So after waiting a few times, if we go to VOD pipeline out we could see that there is an AWS solution that is the same name as my video input. If we go through, we see that we got an HLS folder for the HLS output with all the objects. And if we go to MP4, we also could see the MP4 outputs. Thanks for following this tutorial and see you.